Hey, welcome. Maybe you've uh, built one of our ISOs with the articlinuxb.com website. Um, Arco Linux, whoa, is that? ArcoLinuxB.com is where you build it yourself. And I've just made a GWM, serving you desktop number 16. I have this ISO built, just uh, recorded the video for it, and now we tested that. So, super F7, make sure you have VirtualBox. I have a template that's ready, so I don't need to set everything up. I can just load it up and then clone it and say, this is gonna be ArcoLinuxB GWM. Enter, enter, clone. What's important the other day on uh, Telegram, I responded to this as well. This needs to be set properly. VBox, VGA, settings. There are two things that you can do that works. This one is okay, and this one is okay. And then the resolution will become the resolution of your screen. 1920 on 1080 in my case, and not such a small thing like 800 and 600. Set it right. All right, make sure he doesn't do that. You see, make sure he doesn't do that. He changes it again, and that's not our thing, that's VB, VirtualBox. Do this off, and it changes, he, he, he saves it this time around, you see? So that's probably what's happening with some of our people, our users. So, optical drive, where is my ISO, Eric? Arcanlinks B out. In that particular folder, all the Bs are. There is also an Arcanlinux out and a Linux D out, right? So the Bs end up in that folder. And we're gonna show you where to do that, where to, how to install that. So that's there, I thought so you would do that. I have a dual screen, my friends, so it's on the other one. I need to hashtag the out, all that sh things, messages. So. Clicking here, clicking there. Up, oh, there's another one. I think there's three or four to go, and another one up here. Okay, and if you click here, not the second, not the first one, but the second one, do not show this message again. Otherwise, you'll keep on clicking all the time. So we're putting up from an ISO. It can be written on a USB, and this is okay. I mean, this is a desktop. It's not a tiling window manager, so it's recognizable. It's um, not that difficult, I think, for people to actually get to know GWM, so Joe's Window Manager. It has lots of uh, advantages, but I, I leave, I'll let you decide whether you like it or not. It's all very minimal, as you see. A few things are in here, but not much. So it's up to you to decide what you would like to install more. Run Gparted, it's, it's one of our tips, but since this is a virtual box, it is a clean slate. There is nothing there. So otherwise you need to delete partitions and make sure that everything is gone. That's always easier, whether it's Windows, Mac or Linux. That's the version we're using, just for later reference. And there we go. It's like all our uh, installers. You decide what you wanna have, right? If you wanna have a Zen kernel, let's try and have some fun here without any NVIDIA. So if you wanna have NVIDIA, it's gonna be either the Linux kernel or the Linux LTS, that's it. Those packages have been created on Arch Linux, nothing more. Maybe you like to have Discord to talk to us. This is only about uh, Arch Linux stuff. And if you wanna chat about I don't know what, then Telegram is your friend. Anything else but Arch Linux. Next, maybe you like uh, Atom as um, editor and so on and so on, right? You just choose what you wanna have and you select it and you can click it open and be very specific like, I wanna have VLC and Spotify available. This is for tiling window managers to make sure that it opens on uh, Workspace 10, for example, and you fix it always there. Then you need that one. Brave is an interesting browser I wanna try out this year. And so on, right? You just go through it and decide what you want to have, what you want to play, some tools in here, accessories, All right? Maybe you want to have Plank on this system, why not? But maybe you want to have also the Plank themes, right? 80 Plank themes with it, otherwise you get four, right? Four themes. 
I'm not going to install VirtualBox on my VirtualBox, uh, but you could do that on a real machine. And this is what we need for testing. We need Firefox, Blindtext, Flameshot, Melt, the stuff to report issues, to talk to each other, and so on. And that's it for me. That's my selection of today. And you decide what you want to install. So the thing you, the things you see in here are going to be installed. Firefox will be there. Anything that you see here is going to be installed. Don't like Firefox, sudo pacman minus R S Firefox, buy Firefox, right? But um, it is a very minimal thing. There are things in here that we just need, like burning USBs and stuff like that. But even there, you can add more to it, not less, but more. Erase disk, no swap, fine by me, since it's a virtual box. And then click, click, click. Log, log in automatically or not, up to you. Next, install, and off we go. Like any other article Linux ISO, it's gonna unsquash or unpack an image, and that's this thing. This is your image. What's on here will be on your system, right? What you see is what you get. And inside Calamaris, you can add more stuff to it. That's why we say sometimes in Arch Linux ISO, let's make from this flagship a cruise ship, so you can add more to it, never less. Less, that's done when you build an ISO, Arch Linux B. At that point, before you um, do anything, before you build it, you edit the packages file. Say, don't want Firefox, don't want Mel, don't want Sublime Text. Then you build it and it's your ISO. We're gonna pause again. It's gonna take a while here. Quick All right, let's continue. Um, the restart is done here. I mean, the installation is done and it's waiting for the restart. And all you need to do is press the button done. Of course, this is VirtualBox, so it boots up from the USB if it wants to, but you say boot from the hard disk. And here you see already the Linux Zen thing. So we're using a different kind of kernel. We have four kernels to choose from. If you have issues, first start the one with the Linux kernel, right? But if you got issues, then you go for Linux, Linux Zen, Linux Hardened, you, and Linux LTS. We have four choices, and it's easy to remember because they're here. sudo pacman minus s Linux, tap, tap. Those are the names, there they are, all four of them. And this is GWM, so it's um, another desktop for you to discover and to play with. I've been playing games on it, so the fishing game, you can see it on YouTube. Uh, you decide if this is your thing, and the, all the things that are required to launch this particular desktop are in one folder, config GWM, and all the rest I'm gonna tell in tutorials. Alright, have fun!